Hello everyone, welcome to Redshift Tech. Myself Karthik Kondasamy. Today we are going to learn one of the advanced commands in uh, Git is nothing but squashing. Squashing is uh, very rarely we use in our projects, but it is just to try to understand how it actually works. Squash is a, nothing but a process of combining multiple commits into single commit. Process of combining multiple commits into a single commit. So this is what it is, right? Let's take a scenario. Let's say you have a master branch in which you have the base version in that you are making some changes, right? Let's say you are making some commit C1, C2, C3, C4, C5 and over the period of time when all the developers are pushing all their changes and there are like hundreds of or mil, uh, thousands of commits are heading into the project, then whenever you open that particular branch, you will feel always like, okay, so many commits are there, right? In that case, if you want to make it very clean and tidy, then what you can do, you can go for squashing. So squashing is nothing but the process of combining or combining these type of multiple commits into a single commit. Okay, C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, I'm going to combining into a single commit called C6. That's all. So this process is nothing but squashing. So squashing is cannot be done directly like having some squash command. So we can do by either we can go by interactive rebase or we can go by merging with squash. So what we can do here is git rebase. So first we have to go to the branch wherever we are. Let's say git checkout and master branch and then git rebase hyphen i which is nothing but interactive rebase head uh, tell the sub 4 which means like head is nothing but the point the pointer where it is actually pointing to hyphen 4 right. So which means like it's not hyphen it's the tilde symbol right. So that means like all this 4 or 5 we can able to get into one commit. So either way we can use it by interactive rebase or we can go by merge with squash. So let's say in the future one, if I want to squash it and put it over there, then I can go by merge with squash. So these are the two approaches we can use it. And the advantage of uh, having this uh, feature is nothing but if you want to make our uh, history of commits very clean for any review or any approval, or if anyone wants to look into that uh, very clean and tidy, then I can go for the squashing. But the biggest drawback for this one is if you want to apply any single operation, right? It is not possible. Let's say you have five commits here. If you want to apply any single operation over here, which is not possible because you are already making this five commits into one single commit. So that is a, one of the disadvantage of using this feature. But it's very rarely we use. But it's very important to understand when you your project goes bigger and also is there any way that if someone asking like is there any way that you can make your commits clean? Then this is one of the options. Now let's see how squashing works practically. Okay, so in order to demonstrate squash, I am going to create something called new folder in my working directory where I am going to create uh, from the scratch. Okay, let's say I am creating something called git squash. Okay, let me create. Uh, first of all, I want to initialize this one as a git folder. What I can do here is right now I am in this git, right? As we know that squashing is nothing but the process of combining multiple commits into single commit so that like it will looks very clean and tidy right so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to make it first git folder git initialize the git git init you guys see here git dot git folder has been created let me clear it off now i'm going to say touch f1 and then i'm going to add it to the staging area git add dot okay and then i'm going to say git commit hyphen m and then say that f1 added okay cool now similarly i'm going to say touch f2 and then git add and then git commit with the message f2 added okay i have two commits now let's say i'm going to add one more i want to add some more commits and i want to show you guys how it actually works so f3 i'm adding it uh, so i'm going to say f3 added three commits done then fourth commit i'm going to say f4 and then I'm going to add it, and then I'm going to say F4 added. F4 added. Now I'm going to say F5, right? And then I'm going to say add it to the staging area, and then I'm going to say F5 added. Okay, guys, now let me clear it off. Now we have five commits, right? Now we have five commits. How I can do this? Git log will tell us, right? Let's say if I open it let's say clear it off and then present working directory is i'm in git swash right i will say git status first okay everything is clean my master branch now i am going to say that um 
get logged okay now i see there are one two three four five there are five commits we have assume that i want to combine these two commits into one commit okay let's say i'm just copy this okay and put it in my one of my bb edit folder where i'm going to start uh, having this okay just for reference okay so this is how right now we have these are the list of commits we have okay now i am going to say that i am going to say get that squash all this into uh, one commit okay let's say i want to squash these two into one commit how i can do that i we don't have a specific squash command right what i can do get rebase interactively with head tailed symbol let's say two okay i want to combine the last two into one okay as we know that rebase uh, interactive this way is working in with respect to top down approach okay it will take the latest commit in the last okay let's say like this okay now there are two ways that i can do it if you guys see here since i say hyphen r2 sorry the till 2 it is taking this f4 f5 which is nothing but these two okay these two guys right if you see the commit message also you see here uh f4 added right 63a f4 added 63a this one and f5 added is 074c this one okay these two i want to commit into local uh, into one but if you guys see here this f5 doesn't have a previous commits so what i should do here is i want to there are two ways that you can do it either you can uh, re reorder this one or without reordering also you can do it so i will go by without reordering which is a very quick and simple way of doing it how i can do this is in this i would say i have to add instead of pick i have to say it as r which is recursive um reorder it and then this one is first squashing yes okay now i'm going to save this file like this now it's asking for some command right commit message right because it is going to squash into uh, this this one and this one it is going to squash into one commit right so it is asking f4 right right let me remove this i would simply say squashed by Kartik. i'll simply save it again it's asking for combination of two commits right this is the first commit message squashed by Kartik, and this is the commit message to f i added right so if you want to change this one also you can change this as well instead of f i added you can change it to something called squashed by Kartik. simply say one something like that okay now i'm going to save this cool now you can able to see this right now you see one two three four and five right so you you won't see any difference here like you always have f1 f2 f3 f4 f5 but you will see the difference here if you guys see here the moment i say git I rebase hyphen i head hyphen uh, till two right it has been added by squashed by Karthik. so detached this head okay detach this head and then actually it, it, it is just using my uh global configuration username password for uh, email ID to tell like who is actually doing this the author message and one file got changed so you detach the head actually detached from here and then it is actually squashed by Karthik, right what are the message i have given so now if you guys see here two files got changed right now let me clear it off and if you say git log you see here f1 added f2 added f3 added and then last for two commits right f4 added f5 added here this has been squashed into one okay that commit is this one okay guys i hope you guys are clear with this one now if you guys compare these two commits earlier we have f1 added f2 added f3 added f4 added f5 added now i what i did is i i squashed these two commits into one let's say in your real time project you are making so many commits okay then after some time you will feel that like there are so many commits which is very uh, not uh, looking good then what you can do is you can squash it always but the biggest drawback in squashing is nothing but if you want to apply any particular operation to a particular commit that is not possible because once you squash it that's all you are making it merge means like you cannot be able to get back so this is the advantage and disadvantage of using squash but i hope you guys have understood this in practical how i how i did uh, squashing these two commits into one commit okay